Baharmi Putar Glor. Ha uh ha. -huh. Not sure what that means, but apparently it's funny. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 13 of the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge, and we are opening on Tina being a creeper. We love that. Anyway, um, so apologies in advance if I'm feeling a little, or if I'm sounding a little down today. It's not that I'm feeling too terrible, honestly. I just got uh, two vaccinations yesterday, and I am heck and sore. Um, but I still wanted to record because I love my fam. I love this family. I love um, this challenge. Oh my goodness! Look at this little sour face. What's up with you, buddy? Oh, you had a bad day at school. I'm sorry, buddy. Well, why don't you go and play something? You've already done your homework. You need to eat. You need to shower. Looks like this little guy is feeling much better. He's uh, missing some fun though, so I will probably have him use the potty and then play in the shower. Play in the bath. There we go. Alrighty, is that getting your fun up? Not really. So today I would like to finish up on these candles, or at least make good dent in them. Oh, is she trying to go night night? She's trying to go night night. We probably shouldn't do tummy time. Oh, we're gonna do it anyway. Alrighty, that's fine. So after um, these candles are done, the only thing we have left is to get Joe's wellness up and then expand the house once Joe is an adult. Which, um, I did put a poll in the... I did put a poll in the um, community tab, and as you can see here, Aaron, uh, Oren, and Joe have birthdays one after the other. So um, I asked if it would be okay if we just aged Joe and Oren up on the same day, and the majority agreed that we should do that. Let me see, we have. I'm not sure when Sylvie's birthday is. Is it on Friday? Yeah, it's on Friday. Okay, so we might get to see a toddler Sylvie today, depending on how quick we go. Right now we're kind of at the end of, we're kind of at the end of the generation. Ooh, yay! Roll over to back milestone. We love it. She is a sleepy baby, so Oren is having fun in the bath, getting his hygiene up, and also getting his fun up. We love to see it. Sylvie has made a stinky in the diapy and is very tired. Um, Aaron, I think, can probably change Sylvie's diaper. Oh, wait, no, she needs a bath. Um, we gotta wait for a little man to get out first, but, um, we can make that work. Little baby is at risk of a diaper rash because she is so stinky. Go get your child a bath. Oh, no, she's too sleepy. Okay, well, <coughs> we'll have you take care of other things. Willow's getting on in years. Oh no! Willow is Oren's chicken sister. That's so sad. So I think we are just going to disband the homeless homies. We're not really doing anything with the club anymore. the whole point of the club was to um, 
meet someone that Joe could fall in love with anyway, and we have successfully done that. List on Plopsy. Okay, and Aaron, you've collected eggs, correct? You have. It's an egg, it's not hatchable. Insect biofuel filled can. And what are you two doing? Oh, So cute. go ahead and start another candle. Well, your fun needs to go up, actually, and you need to eat something. Let's see what we have in the fridge. Bread sticks. That's all we've got. Yeah, you're getting kind of tired, so... I'm gonna wake up the baby. I know that's probably not a good idea, but... She needs a bite. <laughs> I got your car food candle in the mail. By any chance, was this supposed to be edible? Asking for a friend. <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to be edible, but I mean, it's probably not going to hurt you. It was made with soy wax. So. Right, Aaron, Joe, and Oren are awake. Have Aaron clean up the spoiled food. Joe needs to pee. Go pee. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to 10 candles made and then we're going to focus on yoga for a little bit. Aaron, you're doing great, bud. What do you need to do for your you need to achieve your level 6 creativity skill, which you're doing! Oh my gosh, good job, buddy. You're such a little genius, I love you. Right, so, you, my darling, you should probably, you should probably cook something. And I did go through and give Joe a few more, uh, a few more outfits. Let's have you serve breakfast of pancakes. Uh-oh, Sylvie's hungry. Dad, can you come and help the baby? Oh, never mind, it looks like mom's on it. Well, could you come and resume pancakes? If you're gonna take care of the baby, take care of the baby, jeez. Please take care of the child. School for Oren is starting in an hour. Oh, he was in the rain. Sorry, buddy. What are you doing? Why are you taking her to the playmat? I told you to feed her. Oh my gosh. Feed the child. Please. Please. Please do that. Why are you so buggy with your child? Um, keep looking for it. Could you please feed your child? I know you're hungry, but please, Jesus Christ. I really don't want the baby to be taken away. I know you're hungry. Fine, go eat. Are you okay? Like, are you bugged? Oh, there's something wrong with you, isn't there? Okay, I see here. Well, my founder might be bugged. My founder might be corrupted. There you go. I really don't know what your problem is. You're, 
you'd just be thankful your partner fed your child. How you doing, baby girl? Last milestone, yay! It looks like they're working perfectly fine now, they're just... Something is just weird. I won't say, okay, maybe I shouldn't say perfectly fine. They're still having issues. But it's playable, just irritating. Maybe I should have them work on yoga now. Maybe we get their fun up, and that might help them work a little better. I'm just gonna bring this out here. Yes, she is a stinky baby. Could you actually do some yoga, please? Why are you so difficult? I don't think that's yoga. Apparently you're doing yoga though. Okay, there you go. It's helping your fun. Orin! Oh my gosh, Orin, you little genius! Oh, you're so good. I love you. All right, we will have to choose a new aspiration for little man when he's home. All right, wellness level five. Let's go ahead and save. And feed the chickens and take care of the, <laughs> the garden. <laughs> I think one of the things I definitely want when we are able to expand the house is a proper garden area, not just this makeshift garden area. I'm also trying to debate on whether I want to just expand on the house that we already have or make a completely new house. I'm leaning more towards expanding. I feel like it would be more realistic. Okay, why don't you wake up the baby? <gasps> Orin! Baby! You're so good! Oh, you won a prize! Good job, buddy! Oh, I'm sorry that you had such a stressful day at school, but let's get you a new aspiration, my darling. So you can do Playtime Captain get you mind and body okay buddy I'm gonna have Sylvie um, ask for a diaper change because that might actually help with Joe's wonkiness there we go diaper change What are you doing? Buddy, buddy? Well, if that's gonna make you a little less tense, that's fine, baby. Alrighty. Oh, cool. Tina is now a secret agent. That's fun. Why don't you put Sylvie in the bat carrier. There we go, bat carrier baby. Collect beetle nuggets, collect grub meal. Why are you so tired? Why are you so sad? Oh, sad baby. Okay, well, we're gonna not 
keep her in the back carrier, I guess. But at least you're taking care of your child. Which is more than I could hope for. But that means that I technically quote unquote started a candle. And then did not complete the candle. Which mm, messes up this count a bit. So that's two candles I need to... Two extra candles that I need to make to make up for that. That happened once already. Chikyun, you gonna put her in the, uh... Orin is just autonomously doing his homework. So cute! Aaron, good job, buddy! Why don't you do some programming? Joe, why don't you put Sylvie down? Oren. Oren. Do your homework, babe. Oren, why don't you play with your sister? Play with your baby sister. I really want him to just... Baharmi Putar Floor. Uh-huh. Not sure what that means, but apparently it's funny. I want him to have a good relationship with his sister. Because he's gonna grow up to, um... <gasps> Milestone! Milestone! As I was saying, Orin is going to... Oh, she can roll over to her tummy! That's so cute. And he's so happy about it! Good girl! Oh, baby. You put yourself in that position, sweetie pie. <laughs> She's so cute. She's like, now that I know how to do this, I'm gonna do it all the time. It's my entire personality now. <gasps> what a good girl. You wanna play with your toys? Oh, you could do tummy time by yourself now. What a good girl. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, what a little what a little genius we have. It's okay, baby. Baby Angel. You're so cute. I say that and then my my youngest cat is over here. Yes, dear. Special guest appearance by Tip. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. Just hang up on him. Hey, wait, don't you want to click? No. Erin, did you do your programming for the day? You did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, you're having a great time. You want to help your son with his homework? Oren, you're such a good boy. Look at this little man. He's so precious, so perfect. The most perfect baby angel. What's that on Plopsy? And then go potty. Alright buddy, what do you need to do for this aspiration? You need to become confident. Which I think I know I, how I can do that. He also needs to eat. Apple! Good job, Apple! Leaf is now a rooster. Yay. Fully grown chickens. Look at this cutie patootie just being adorable. Look at her, she's so cute, I can't. I know I said the same thing about Oren, and I still maintain that he is adorable. <gasps> Doing some tummy time by yourself, what a big girl. What a big girl. 
my goodness. You're getting so good at that. You're getting so good at that. She's so stinking cute. Oh, I love her so much. She's gonna be a cutie patootie like her brother is. I'm fully expecting that, like, Oren is gonna grow up looking mostly like his dad, but with his mom's eye shape. Sylvie is still up in the air, but I'm pretty sure she has, um, dad's nose at least, because her brother had the same nose. Like, I looked at a picture recently of both, um, Sylvie and Oren side by side as infants, and oh my goodness, the Sims really did say copy paste on this. <laughs> okay, buddy, we should probably use the potty and take a shower. Look at it. Look at the baby. I love the infant stage, but they are a lot of work, so not looking forward to twins. The nice thing about Orin's generation, though, is that it says that he can either adopt four kids or use the science baby feature. I think I'm going to do a mixture of both. I think I'm going to have him have a friend that he has a couple of science babies with and also have him adopt a couple of kids. He's, on, he's supposed to have four kids total. Okay, little baby is a hunger. Oh, she's getting a milestone! What you doing? She can sit up! She can sit up! What a good girl! She's so smart! Look at this smart baby! She's such a smart baby! I'm so happy. And these two just... They're so close, I love it. Orin, you could probably use a bit more sleep before you go to school, so I'm gonna have you go to sleep again. Oh, there we go. There's the little girl. Oh, and she just had a blowout. <laughs> she just peed all over. Don't put her in the carrier. Joe, give your child a bath. Are we gonna have a repeat of last episode? Uh, thank you. Nice. Okay, you're doing great. Mop that up. Well, at least uh, it looks like Joe is actually bathing the child. Which is a bit of a step up from last episode. Are you fully clean? You are. Okay, well. Go put the baby to bed. Okay. Um, Aaron, do you have work today? You do. But before that, can you die for deals? Uh, Schmapple oven? What? We have a set. Alrighty, Joe. Come on, make a candle. Oh, you don't have any more. Okay, well, let's see. Can you collect soy locks? And that's three extras I need to, I need to make, but that's fine. All right, Oren. How you doing, bud? You're doing okay. 
playing in your enclosure. We love it. And you go into school, buddy. Okay, bud. Have a good day. Oh, there's something wrong with Aaron. Oh no, he's going to work. I'll send him to the doctor after. Okay, so we should do some pumpkin carving today. Oh my gosh, she's out of the crib and... Okay, cool. We love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she can wear a little outfit. Can you wear, um... Okay, so I guess we can't have her wear a costume. Oh, what's up? Oren started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. Um, I mean, I would say she would or they would go with a what, what natural leader, if not for the fact that I believe that Joe would probably consider that a waste of good food, so <laughs> should help clean. Okay. Um, you should probably eat, you should probably use the bathroom. When the boys get home, we will do some Halloween shenanigans. Uh, Aaron notices everyone grinning and laughing, but chat windows disappear when he comes around. He can pretend not to notice or confront his team. Ask what's up? Nobody seems to hear Aaron becoming suddenly very focused on work. Too nervous to take it any further, he lets it go, losing even more face and drawing more Snickers. Quit making fun of him. Okay, so... We got a schmapple. Here's the thing though. These things, as we have learned with the um with the schmapple fridge that we got, they're not meant. They're not meant to break. So we're gonna have to just buy a new one, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue if we just sell that old one. But since we did find it in the dumpster, you guys did see that. We're just going to buy one that is the same color. And we will use that instead. Now we have a schmapple, which is a really high end. Super, super high end thing. We'll put that there for now. We've already found um, the table. I thought I had recycled these, but I guess not. It's fine, we'll do more of that later. <laughs> no, I don't want to go over to your house, Tina. I have an infant. And I have stuff to do. Oh. <laughs> Sylvie, you're so cute. She's just like, I'ma do playtime. She's trying so hard to talk. So cute. <laughs> You trying to do a babble, baby? Did you get the babble milestone? Oh. Laugh, coo, smile. So she has yet to babble. Oh, toe and mouth. There we go, there's the toe and mouth. Good job, baby. You're so smart. <laughs> Look at that. She's so freaking cute. I love her. Just have, like, infants just give me the biggest smile on my face. They're so freaking cute. Alright, since you're doing pretty well, let's make some more progress on these candles. Let's do an amber carved candle. Meanwhile, this little one can just do some playing. Play with your toys, baby girl. 
She can babble! Good girl! You are just so smart, I can't handle it. So probably gonna have to just stop the episode after we do Halloween shenanigans, but I think that would be a good note to end on. I just love that she's just so talkative now. Let's put that up on Flopsy. And then I'll just have you practice yoga until everyone comes home. Orange home. Cranky boy. Let's see, do you want to put on a costume? Wear a costume. You should be Grandmaster Yoda. Very, very sleepy Grandmaster Yoda. Let's have you carve a pumpkin. Classic pumpkin. Um, let's give you a green pumpkin, because that's kind of your color. Look at my son. I don't use this very often, so this is fun. While Joe is doing some yoga, little man here can carve a pumpkin. Oh, are you okay, buddy? You know, it takes some skill to carve a pumpkin with those hands. It's an interesting looking pumpkin. Okay, he's too uncomfortable. He is having some something go on with him, so I'm gonna have him go to the doctor. It looks like we have a trick-or-treater. Oh, it's uh Olive. She's so cute. So feed your feed your baby and then go trick or treat. And Aaron is also uh not sure why you're dumpster diving. What are you dumpster diving for? Deals? You don't need to. Let's have Aaron go to the doctor too. And he got promoted. Good job. Okay, go, go to the doctor, dude. And all you can think about is woohooing in that dumpster, I guess. Orin has asthma, which is sad. But let's see. What do you want to be for Halloween? What a space ranger. Can you help with um with the pumpkin or no? No, doesn't look like it. Well, why don't you come and talk to your babe? Talk to your baby. Um, Aaron has chronic condition sleep disorder. Okay, that's manageable. And before Aaron takes a bath, I'm gonna have him wear an, wear a costume, and I'll have him be a smuggler. I know this is gonna take off the costume, but at least, well, I would say he got the uh, the credit for the holiday, but he doesn't seem to have the holiday, so. Okay, poor Bubba. Uh, Aaron seems to be wanting to be squeamish all the time. But I don't think, I still don't think that he should be. <laughs> well, this seems to be how my, uh, how my episodes end. Okay, Orin, you can sleep in the bed tonight.
Which means Joe gets to sleep in the enclosure. Oh, they can't. Never mind. Well, then nap. This is the problem with having such a small house. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, next episode, we should see a toddler, Sylvie. Because it, I believe, is currently Thursday in the game, and her birthday is on Friday. So we will see a toddler, Sylvie, next episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed, even though it was fairly uneventful. And if you want to see the next episode when it goes live, please remember to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me that you would give me even a little bit of your time. But um, it means a lot more. Well doesn't really mean that much more <laughs> um it, it sounds terrible but it means a lot to me either way um if you would decide to uh like or subscribe or you know whatever no pressure <laughs> um so yeah i will see you all next time thanks for watching and goodbye